Hi, this is Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com, and I have Jennifer and Maria here that spoke at our MLS meeting this morning at our breakfast and about the generational differences of marketing, which is very, very interesting. So could you give us a little pointers of what you talked about? You talked about X, Y, seniors and boomers, right? So what, what, tell us, give us a little lowdown of what you talked about, would you please? Well, good morning. It's so good to be here today. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Emria. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, so much for wanting to film us today. Actually, what we feel that in real estate, uh, what really makes a very, very big difference is in communicating and knowing how to communicate with your clients, mm -hmm. um, how to get the message across in a very effective ways. Of course, seniors and boomers. Um, they want the story. They want to hear um, everything about the transaction and they want to develop a relationship. Uh huh. With Generation X and Generation Y, um, it's a little bit different. Okay, so we well, want to well, hear the story. Yeah, well, <laughs> Jen yeah, yeah, Jennifer knows this. Is we, so we would like <laughs> bullet points. Gen X for sure and Gen Y really react and they don't like the long story. They have a very short attention span. Mm -hmm. uh, bullet points are the most important. Mm -hmm. Getting to the point quickly and not being salesy. That's, I uh -huh. think, the biggest key is the... Straight to the point and be real. Be real. Be Give real, them no the worst case scenario that's going to happen and they'll like you more. Okay, and you know, the, the difference is, is because mainly probably the computer, I would think, because everything's faster. And that's how the, everybody's been trained in the faster. younger generation, faster. faster to the point in educational. And yeah, have access, wider access to the information. So yeah. X and Y will already be looking and have already looked online mm -hmm. about the transaction. They'll know, they'll even probably have found the house. Uh -huh. <laughs> all, you, yeah. all they're really looking for from their real estate agent is to draw up the contract and really, you know, take them, show it and, and walk get them the deal through the done. process. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I would say also that in my experience with Generation X and Generation Y, I was a real estate agent for 14 years. Uh -huh. They are actually a much easier client. There is, um, they, they're so knowledgeable when they come to you mm -hmm. already. Yeah. However, the real estate agent will never be replaced. We will always be yeah. part of the transaction. Yeah. Yeah. It is nothing to fear. Yeah. The most important thing, like Jennifer said, mm -hmm. is honesty. Yeah. Worst case scenario. Give them the worst case scenario. You don't have to sugarcoat it. Right. With uh, seniors, with boomers, mm -hmm. they understand need. They mm -hmm. under They lived in a time when the depression. They lived in mm -hmm. a time when need, when the money had almost a different value. Mm -hmm. It is always important to market to seniors and boomers um, in a different way by saying. How can I make this work for you? Mm -hmm. What are your needs? Mm -hmm. And um, to always express the fact that you need the business. Uh huh. Okay. So the older generation they understand need. Yeah. Okay. needing. Okay. And the younger generation doesn't need. No. They understand. I, well, and they don't. They don't have that same mentality because they haven't lived that same. Yeah. You know, Long length of. You know those events, etc. Through their lifetime. Yeah, and what I, what I know, the bottom line, what I know, whatever, real estate agents will never go away because they're, they're not really salespeople. Anybody who's been in the business for any length of time, you have to be honest, straight to the point, at the, wherever you put it in the deal, at the beginning or the end or to the point up front with the younger and later in the bottom, you know, I bottom line everything myself. And you have to, in order to stay in the business and be able to stay in the business, Otherwise, you will get kicked out by your peers sooner or later. And I don't care how old you are. <laughs> That's what I find. I mean, you have to be honest whatever business you're in, um, in the long run. So and I think if you so want to be successful in real estate, you have to do what, what Judy does. And that is to be very tech savvy, yeah. to be yeah, uh, able true. to provide information yeah. online, to be blog, to blog. Yeah. Uh, yeah. to text, expect yeah. uh, a lot of communication. And I think that text. with that, it's really yeah. changing with how your customer is changing. 
Yeah. Because what happens is, is in real estate, all our boomers and seniors were trained a certain way, and they don't right. know any different. So they feel that it's always going to be like that. So they're still putting their ads in the newspaper. Yeah. And looking for customers from Gen Y, and that's not going to happen. So yeah. you really, it's changing with the times and being able to yeah. constantly reinvent your marketing in order to reach your customer. Yeah, the world's turning, yeah. which is all right. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, actually. <laughs> Progress, progress is good. Anyway, thank you very much, ladies. You're great. It was very educational, and I want to take the class. Anyway, so this is thank Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.